might be fun to bring you guys down to Soho with me for a bit of fashion week prep and I must apologize for not doing my face up all for you guys because I know on YouTube it's quite nice to see people done up it's just more visually pleasing but this is my real life guys I don't put on makeup every time I leave the house so but I did manage to put on my Glossier no makeup makeup face for you. So yeah, like I said, I'm in Soho. It's a brisk but really really beautiful day I'm wearing I've whipped out my old Reese coat again. It's kind of like a knitted coat But I wore this to death and um, I didn't wear it all winter this year. So Ooh, it's so cozy. I'm just walking up Broadway now I've got some returns to make and I'm gonna have a browse around the shops See if I can find anything that would be nice for fashion week. I'm pretty happy with my wardrobe the way it is, so I won't be buying anything for the sake of it, but I thought it might be nice to bring you down on this lovely day anyway, and then later show you guys how I style my outfits for fashion week, and just generally how to put together a good outfit. So I might actually show you four or five outfits that I'm thinking of wearing for next week's video, which is gonna be actual New York fashion week. Golden hour is hands down my favorite time to be in Soho. It's always just ridiculously cliche and beautiful. First find from Uniglo, these really, really nice pleated, kind of straight up simple, basic wardrobe staple white trousers. They're kind of cropped, they're wide leg, and I've just been looking for something like this for a really, really long time. Okay, so these are the denim, and I've been standing here for five minutes trying to tell myself they look good and that they're worth it, even though they are only $30, which is why I love Uniglo, but... I don't know you guys, I feel like they fit completely differently and that's the importance of fabric when it comes to silhouettes, it doesn't always just translate. I think they're just a bit too frumpy here man and like I don't really feel good about this situation. Might as well show you guys the full look of what I'm wearing today, like I said, Reese coat, little Club Monaco tote, I feel like totes are very New York, especially in Soho, and um, a little pleated skirt and Stan Smith's comfy as always. Okay, so I've like literally only just started shopping and then I started getting hungry and um, I realized that I really haven't eaten much today so I've stopped and picked up a few things for lunch. Um, I really need to catch up on my protein so I picked up a few boring protein bits. But it's okay because I'm sitting outside this lovely basilica eating my boringly healthy lunch. It's $19 for this. Oh, New York, you kill me. You guys might be watching this on Valentine's Day. If it is, much love to you. And yeah, even if you're on your own, treat yourself. I'm taking myself to the New York City Ballet tomorrow night to see Romeo and Juliet. Ooh, it's like drinking liquid pain. So I'm gonna go and see if Mango have anything because they're my tried and tested for the last year. They're like the new Zara to me. I feel like, I feel like basically Mango and Zara must have switched names because Mango stock is so good. Not so much in store, but online the stuff is a lot better quality. Oh, supermodel alert in the white jumpsuit. I think that's, um, oh, what's her name? Okay, this dress with the neck detail, I like. Apologies for the annoying music, but I did find this suit in Zara, which caught my interest. It's like a matching set. The only thing though is that it's quite big. This is a small set, so small top, small medium, and it's a little big on the waist, and it's a little big on the chest and the waist too. It's on the last hole already. The quality is a little shiny or something. I am kind of obsessed with it, but I know it's gonna be in the sale. That's the thing. Oh, and the dress too, but the dress was like $120, and it would have been a perfect cocktail dress to have in my wardrobe, but $120, like, in Zara, no, I'm not doing it. Obsessed with the suit, though. I'm gonna keep my eye on that, despite the fact the fabric is a little bit shiny for my liking, but the whole suit was about 250, which isn't too bad, but again, because it's Zara, I'm just like, oh, it would break my heart if I saw it in the sale in like a month's time. The sun is really starting to set in Soho now, and it's so beautiful. Um, but I'm gonna do one quick run into Topshop, because I haven't been in there in like forever, and see if they have anything cute. Oh my god, yes, I can turn the volume down. Okay, so I'm in Topshop and oh my god, dying. I asked for a shopping bag to carry all of the stuff that I had in and it happened to be an Irish girl and she hooked a girl up with a personal shopping changing room, so I'm pretty chuffed. Um, it's not often that I bump into Irish girls that work in retail, so that was a nice surprise. And she said that, um, well, her name is Melissa and she has like a roommate or a friend that watches my videos, so if you're Melissa's friend, Hello! Yeah, this is the look. So I've got this like longer jacket that has the same orange and blue as in the sweater. I don't know, I think it's a fun like combo, like something very like classic, like the Prince of Wales with this more abstract colorway. What do we think? A little over the shoulder action. I feel like not a lot of people are doing the whole over shoulder thing this 
this season. Hmm, I love it, but I'm not like in love with it, you know? Found lots of things that I liked, but only a couple of things that I felt like I really, really needed and that were completely necessary. So in a second, we're gonna fast forward to tomorrow where I show you what I did pick up today and some outfit ideas that I have. Cause it's nice to actually shop your own closet and be inspired by your own closet too. So that's the goal for tomorrow. See you guys there. And just like that, we're at the second half of the video where I show you guys some of my ideas for what I want to wear. And this is actually like my actual try on and the process that I would do for any sort of event like this. And um, even when I'm just planning my lookbooks or planning my outfits a week, cause I do like to show you nice outfits in the vlogs too. This is what I do. It just makes my life so much easier. And if you find yourself staring into the wardrobe for 20 minutes in the mornings, like I do a lot of the time, then this will definitely help. And like I said, this is only something I've been doing like super recently. I spent most of 2016 and some of 2017 styling and shooting for various brands here in New York and I feel like I really honed my styling technique through that because I had to get things done quickly. But this year for sure is a lot more refined for me. My main goal is to be comfortable for all of fashion week while still kind of creating aspirational outfits hopefully. So my recipe kind of begins with picking that statement piece. So this Max Mara jacket, for example, which I got really recently in Brown Thomas. What I like to do is take the piece and then I'll go onto Pinterest and I'll search in something like Teddy Coat or Fuzzy Coat or like Faux Fur Coat and I'll see what people on Pinterest are styling them like and if I can get any inspiration there. Not so much to copy, but just to see if I have anything in my wardrobe that could emulate the outfits that I like from Pinterest and it's really helpful in shopping your own wardrobe because sometimes I feel like oh I have nothing to go with this I need to go out and buy stuff. The second thing I do which is not something I do all the time but for something like fashion week that requires a bit more planning sometimes I like I'm in bed and right before bed I have all these ideas and they're buzzing around in my head and I know I'm not going to remember them the next day so I whip out notes on my phone. This is my one from earlier in the week. It looks kind of ridiculous, but it says, cozy turtleneck for a bomber or my Unigo stripe one, flare jeans, question mark? I don't know, man, I find it helps. It's basically time to start trying on the outfits and getting all of the combinations you think will work together. I found that planning outfits in your head rarely works out. I spent the last two years of my blogging life um, guesstimating that outfits would work out. Unfortunately, trying on your outfits is the most annoying part I find because I'm just like, Ugh. but it's the most rewarding part in terms of actually planning proper outfits and making sure that they look good. Notice the feedback on things like Instagram um, and my blog and stuff like that. And it's been worth it. It's been so worth it. So for example, for the Max Mara jacket, I have three different bottoms options. Um, I have a pair of dark blue flares which could be nice like high-waisted fitted um on the hips flares i think a big element of fashion week is you know wearing trend pieces but getting pieces that stand out a little bit more towards your average so for example the levi's would be my average every day what i would wear with that jacket but these crazy paint splattered graphic jeans might, you know, they're jeans, they're still casual, but they will just give it like an extra edge. So this is one of the options I'm feeling so far for the jacket. The show that I have in mind is a sort of a semi-casual show. Like it's not a high fashion show. It's a really great show, but it's more of a model off duty sort of style. So I'm thinking that this look could be great for it. I've got my Prada bag with it, which I think again will give it a bit more of an elevated look. I've just got um, trainers on as you can see because I plan on running around a lot that day of the show. And again, at Fashion Weeks, I've been seeing a lot more comfy shoes and more real shoes. So yeah, if I go for this, it will be one of the more casual looks of the week, but your feedback is appreciated. Quickly moving away from the casual, this is a little bit more of a put together outfit. I absolutely love it. You guys know I already love my mango jacket and it's a testament to the silhouette and the pattern of it because it's an oversized men's style jacket but belted it still looks amazing it doesn't look bulky or anything like that and i actually love how the outfit looks without the belt but fashion week the belt just gives it a little bit of an extra edge it's a little bit more unexpected 
and I think it's just a really great accent piece. So I, oh hold on, what bag am I gonna wear with this? The badge was super affordable from ASOS. I picked it up a couple of days ago and I have next day delivery on ASOS. So that came nice and quick for fashion week. I love how it brings in the waist of the jacket. You guys know I don't always wear like super fitted things. So it brings more shape to my body. And with the shoulder pads that are in the jacket, it just creates this like upside down triangle shape, which actually makes my waist look smaller. So that's always a win. And then I've just got my black H&M wide leg pants, which I've been wearing a lot. It's the belted ones, but I just took off the belt and they're an amazing black pair of black pants without the belts. And um, these little, I don't know what they're like. They're kind of like a mix between a slipper and like a brogue a bit more of a modern take on a brogue but every time I wear them I get so many questions they're old Tony Bianco the accessories I'm thinking of wearing are number one my Saint Laurent crossbody just because I can turn it into a clutch and it's simple I feel like a bag with the belt would just be a lot but again it's fashion week I do want to jazz it up I could leave it like this but I also got these off ASOS which are little like turban hair bands so I would love to do kind of like big hair with my hair off my face. Sticking with the same black turtleneck here is potential another outfit. These are the white trousers that you saw me get at Uniglo yesterday but I think they look really great with the boots. These are just some old misguided um, boots. They're not my favourite unfortunately. I was a dummy and I left all of my favourite shoes including the ones I wanted to wear for fashion week back in Ireland and they didn't get here in time so uh. but if I wanted to take my outfit a bit more along like the row like Ashley and Mary Kate Olsen's brand if you like them I was thinking this long black satin skirt <laughs> kind of lost my words there from H&M studio I don't know there's something about the white pants that's making me kind of happy we could potentially do, which may be a step too far, but let's see how it looks. We could do a beret, maybe. Oh, it takes me forever to put these on, but I don't know, something like that. Maybe do a belt situation. I have this belt from weekday. I'm thinking we could style it a little differently and kind of almost pop the collar like the whole way over. I don't know, something like that. What do we think? Is this a bit more fashion? Fashion, fashion, fashion. Okay, so I'm already obsessed with the tones of this outfit. Basically, what we have going on here, I was a bit worried that, okay, this sweater is cream. I always used to fret about things like this when this off-white isn't the same as this cream and they don't match exactly. But what I've gathered from Fashion Week and watching over the years is the people with the best style it's not about how matchy matchy things are, it's about how it all works together. More quirky. So this is my jacket from that I got in the Zara sale. It's like a light um, trench mac coat, I guess. But it's in this really nice, like almost peached fabric in a really muted light navy blue and I'm obsessed with it. The sweater is an old favourite that I will never throw away. It's from H&M Studio as well. It's a great piece of knitwear that I've had for a long time, as is the skirt which I wore yesterday. This is my Aritzia pleated skirt. And I remember it was one of the first things I bought when I had a decent paycheck here in New York. And I remember like wanting to cry that it was $100, but I've gotten so much wear out of this skirt. It's as perfect as the day I bought it. Carry on the quirk bag options. Again, something straight away I wouldn't have thought of putting with it but I was looking at my bags and I love how all these muted tones are working together I think it's unexpected there's a little bit of like a analogous color theory going on here with the purpley lilac tones and the blue the way they are on the color wheel I think they're kind of the blues and the pinks and the purples are next to each other so it shouldn't work but I think it kind of does I feel like for the show I have in mind this outfit's going to be perfect this is again a very, I guess a more classic outfit. Uh, I've been really wanting to wear these pants. These are mango trousers, which Grace Hoodie came down in the sale uh, because they were just obnoxiously priced here in the US compared to at home. But I got them and they've actually been fitting amazing. When I bought these, they were super tight and now they're just quite comfortable. Only thing that would stop me from wearing these and this outfit at Fashion Week is uh, the fact that they're crazy crazy long i love the shape of them this is like my ideal shape for bottoms something that's fitted on the top so it all kind of comes down to whether i have time to go get these tailored but i've just paired it with a plain black 
knitted sweater. I'll give you a closer look and a black misguided blazer. This is probably, it's actually a, such a nice black knit and it's kind of cropped, but the misguided blazer, for sure you could find something similar. Um, really like this one, it has a few shoulder pads in it. I've been wearing it a lot, it looks great with turtlenecks. I actually style this on terramares.com too, so if you want more style and like these kind of outfits, that's, that's what I post on my blog. So that's how my YouTube is slightly different to my blog sometimes is, my blog shoots are a lot more of a production, they're a lot more styled and I try and make them a bit more aspirational compared to just the comfy stuff I wear every day. I haven't actually seen either together but this one is an old mango one from last summer. This one as well as the lilac bag which I forgot to say in the last outfit or one of the other outfits is from Aspina London. Literally one of my favourite bag brands at the moment and this is the black croc style of the lilac bag with the strap on it so you guys can see so it's a nice thick like cute strap I like it a lot I feel like this one stands out more but this one is a bit more classic like it goes against the outfit and it looks a bit more slick and let's try my baker boy cap for a little something extra finish off the outfit oh man I really really like this one if there's anything I learned in the last year is that accessories really finish off an outfit I never invested in hats I never paid much attention to bags but like it's outfits like this where I feel like the hat just completes it and so does the bag. What's your verdict? Should I make this a must? Well, that was quite a fun one. Your opinion always really helps me because I always feel like I have an opposite opinion to you guys. And you guys are sometimes very right about things. So love to know your feedback down there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It really helps out my channel. And it means that you will not miss the second part to the second segment of my New York Fashion Week content on Sunday. I'll be posting my New York Fashion Week experience, bringing you to the shows, but not just doing that. I am very aware that New York Fashion Week content can be a bit repetitive. I'm gonna make sure it's gonna be super fun for you guys to come along. So stay tuned for that and yeah, see you on Sunday.